Which leads me into, oh my god, I haven't even, where's the mic? Mother biscuit, totally forgot the microphone. Again. Okay, mic, all right, and then I've got all my stuff, and then, and then, and then. So technical. All right, I think I'm ready. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Did I just talk to myself? <laughs> music. Hey cool cats, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Katie. Welcome to my channel. Hmm. Mo and I are going on holiday, well I'm kind of actually on holiday right now up in LA and then we're going to Vegas on Sunday so I was very inspired by my sister to do a pack with me video. If I've done this completely wrong, then too bad. If you're interested in taking a look at the things I have brought with me. Everything about this seems wrong. I don't know why I did that. Don't go over there. Stay here, <laughs> stay tuned. I'm gonna start off with skincare because that's the bolt of, bolt, bolt. <laughs> of the weight that is in my luggage. All of this devoted to taking care of me and my skin. This tote is from William Rome. Um, we were sent samples of their toiletries to the hotel and I loved this tote. Unfortunately, their products are not vegan or cruelty free so I couldn't use them, but the tote was just too cute to give up. I mean, it's got glasses and a comb for a mustache on it. How can you beat that? I brought this oil cleanser by the Granola Group. Not the Granola, Granola, <laughs> Granola. That's a new one. Gorilla Goat. Prepare for takeoff oil cleanser. This stuff is amazing. Um, good for taking off makeup and just keeping your skin nice and hydrated while cleansing at the same time. If at any point I needed an extra hand, I've decanted the Pacifica Kale Micellar Water into this little spritzer thing and then the makeup remover wipes by Niu Body. In this little tote, I have some Q-tips and some organic cotton rounds. I also brought the Derma E Purifying Daily Scrub Activated Charcoal, just for exfoliating my skin, obviously, and keeping those toxins out when I'm around a casino and everyone's smoking. For toner, of course, I've got the Osea C Vitamin Boost. Um, I haven't find any, haven't find, I haven't found anything to decant this in yet. Uh, I wish I still had the travel glasses, but I recycled them a long time ago, so the whole thing's just gonna come with me. Like I said before, I'm really big on taking care of my skin, especially on holiday, so I brought three masks with me. The first one is the Granola Goats Green With Envy Dry Face Mask. I just put this in one of those bathroom cups and then add a little bit of water, judge it around with a brush, and then apply it to my face. Then I also have Muesli's Hydrogel Neck Mask, which is really great for um, anti-aging, fine lines, wrinkles, and all that jazz. I've got a very short neck. Squirtle, squirtle. If even a neck at all. So this, it's a little ill-filling, filling, fitting on my neck, but you know what? I, I love it, so it's coming with me. And then the last mask I have is the Caffeine Mask by 100% Pure. One of my favorite masks of all time. I love the green tea mask as well. This one makes me look like a monster when I'm wearing it, but I end up looking like a princess afterwards. I've got a couple serums with me. I have the Osea Hyaluronic C Serum, which is a must for every day for me. And then the Full Brow Serum with Coffee and Argon Oil by Province Apothecary. I've brought along three different moisturizers. Four, four moisturizers. <laughs> First one is the Atmosphere Protection Cream by Osea. This is almost done, which leads me to my next product. The Eyes and Lips Moisturizer, also by Osea, which I've decanted into this little glass uh, container. Then I have the Ursa Majors Golden Hour Recovery Cream. And for an extra boost of hydration, I have the Ghost Oil by Poetic Blend. I also have these little frowny patches that I use on my forehead and right in between my eyebrows. Every now and then I figured this would be a good time to pamper myself and really just relax my skin. I have a couple little bath items. The first one is the Dr. Bronner's 8 Bronner's Bronner's 18 in 1 Hemp Peppermint Castile Soap. This one I'm going to be using for body wash, also as a detergent since I brought some vintage blouses with me so I could soak them in the sink. I have the Nobody But Joe's Venice Beach Peppermint Coffee Scrub, which I absolutely adore. And then the Wildflower Bath Tea beauty by Jessica. 
That was all kinds of wrong. Cue bad sheriff of Rottingham scene now. King illegal forest, true pig wild, kill in it a is. What? <laughs> so I plan on taking a bath and using this and possibly going to Lush. David Moon. For deodorant, I have the Twinkle Apothecary Adore. This one is vanilla, grapefruit, rose, and cedarwood. Nice and light and refreshing. For my elbows, my hands, my knees, and my feet, I have the Bare Bones All Balm. All the Balm? All Balm. I think it's All the Balm stick. I'm almost out of this one, so I'm gonna move into my next stick. And then straight out of the shower, I put on the Wildflower Beauty by Jessica's Body Oil Spray. This stuff smells amazing, and it's very good for aromatherapy as well. Um, as soon as I rub it in my hands, I do the superstar thing that Molly Shannon does and goes and I smell it like this and it's just so relaxing and invigorating at the same time. Did I forget the razor? This is the Harry's, Harry's razor reusable stick and a protective covering over this razor. Yes, it is vegan and cruelty free and this is made out of recycled materials. Can't go somewhere without toothpaste and this is David's Naturals toothpaste and then I have my Sonicare toothbrush in here along with my tongue scraper. For lip balm I still have my Puna Noni pineapple lip balm. I'm going to be using up the rest of my Juice Beauty hand cream and then of course SPF things. First one is the Sunstick by Bare Bones. I love this stuff. It's got very few ingredients in it and then the active ingredient is nano, nano, <laughs> non nano zinc oxide, which gives you about 30 SPF. And for my face, I have the Seriously Fab Zinc It Over Fine and Sheer Sunscreen Facial Mist. This stuff is amazing. Again, this one is SPS, SPS, SPF 25. So for smelling good, I'm using Twinkle Apothecary's Basic. It's got coconut oil, vanilla, CO2, um, orange oil, lavender, and lemon. This stuff is perfect for spring. I'm actually gonna put some on right now. Oh, it smells so amazing. This little tote holds my makeup essentials. If you guys wanna see a video on that, just let me know and I'll film it in Vegas for you. To keep my luggage nice and fresh, I have the Moso Natural air purifying bag. Also, one jacket. Don't worry, it's not leather. This one I got from Free People. And for shoes, I have three pairs of flats, um, two by Melissa, one of them looks like this, and how adorable are these? And then I have another white pair that I used when I went to Lindy Groove last night. And it goes in this little Melissa toach, toach, tote bag that I get with each pair of shoes. And these are so lovely smelling. They smell like raspberry, I think, or strawberry. Uh, Melissa's shoes are made out of recycled plastic, so yay! I was already done filming it, but I forgot one major, major important part. So, yeah. Guys, I'm a list person. I write everything down from like knickers to like denim, all of my makeup style, style, makeup things, um, my toiletries, hair stuff, and then electronics. So I also have these cute packing cubes that I got. I don't know if I got them from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This was years ago. First one houses my knickers, bathing suit, and some socks. I also threw in my little Hello Kitty pill box. It's got vi my vitamins and meds in here. And then a couple little totes. This one has my earrings and a bracelet in there and then another tote bag with some brooches and my rings in it. In my medium sized packing cubes, I have my play suit, a couple skirts, and um, looks like I threw in my combs and brushes and this cute little 100% Ziploc bag. Ziploc, that's not even right. Zip tote. So in there I have French Girl's Organic Nail Cuticle Oil, um, my tweezers, nail clippers, and I also brought some backup nail polish just in case these ones chip. It's by Ren Polish, the matte, the matte, the non-glittery one. Lavender color is Sweet Dreams and the glittery one is Enchanted. And here's the third and largest cube. It's holding my pajamas, a pair of trousers, my crinoline, um, my vintage scarves, um, other scarves. Um, this is where I put my toothbrush in my slips and my blouses as well. I was gonna show you guys how I packed my bag and I did it upside down and usually all the heavy stuff will go on 
the bottom of the bag which means like if it was standing up the bottom of the bag would house my toiletry bags my makeup bag everything like that and then everything would be built up um, going lighter in weight but I wasn't paying attention and I put the heavy stuff on the top so just kind of disregard all that okay when you're watching this got it yes all right thanks I also have my camera bag um, and I will show you a clip of things that I put in it obviously the camera goes in one slot on the bottom and then I've got my two chargers but one's being used right now to charge one of my batteries and then the second pouch, I have glasses, I have earbuds in there, some random things. And then the small pouch, I have stuff that I just want on hand, like my lip balm, sunscreens, and all that jazz. This was filmed a little awkwardly, and for that I apologize for, but it is why you guys tune into my channel for a little bit of awkwardness. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, be part of my kooky crazy family. Comment down below if you wanted to see what's in my makeup bag for travel. I can also do a skincare routine if you like, and I was thinking of possibly doing a lookbook as well. So if you guys wanna see that, just let me know in the comments, and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, I will catch you in Vegas. Gloves and kisses. Bye. I didn't put any makeup on. I hope you guys are, well, it's just a lip gloss. Hope you guys are okay with that. I've been getting a ton of freckles lately. Like a lot. They're just popping up everywhere. Oh, by the way guys, I totally plucked my Fu Manchu mustache just for you, just for this video. Otherwise I would have left it on and it's a glory.